All right, everybody, here is a seven minute workout for you. Now, we are gonna do five moves, that's it. You got five moves, a minute each. Now, here's the deal. You gotta set a standard for yourself every single time you come to a workout. You have a minute to do these moves, you can either dog it and just kinda like do as many as you can do, or you can set a standard. How many do you think you're gonna get done? Set a goal for yourself before we start. And make sure you just warm up a little bit, do some jumping jacks, I'm already warm. So we're just gonna hop right into it. Put your hair up. If you're a girl, you're not supposed to look cute after workout, even if it's seven minutes. Put your hair up and get serious about this workout. All right. So we are the first move is going to be a squat press. If you need to modify, you can go ahead and take a look to the left. And if you want to intensify it, you can put weights in your hands. Now I'm not going to have weights in my hands because uh, I need a timer to let me know what's going on. Um, so this is going to be the move. All you're going to do is you're going to squat and you're going to press up. Now. You want to make sure your back's down nice and tight. You want to make sure that you're getting your booty down. And here we go, no hold back. Squat. Your shoulders are going to stay down and back the whole time. You got to really make sure you're pushing through the heels and you're getting down as low as you can and you're pressing up as high as you can. Make it one big motion. I'm also not allowing my shoulders to come up into my ears. Keep my core nice and tight. Keep it tight. We're only 25 seconds in. Keep it going. You don't give up. Make sure you're breathing. You want to make sure you're breathing. My shoulders are down and back. If you have weight in your hands, definitely make sure you're keeping those elbows in. You want proper form. It's only seven minutes. You got to get your absolute all. Don't slow down the pace. Keep it going. Keep it going, y'all. I got three things. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, we're at 53 seconds. Make sure you're reaching up nice and high, extending the legs all the way out. And that's it. One minute, now you got a 30 second break. Make sure you got a bottle of water, a towel. Take a breather. Keep you breathing. And you're getting oxygen. Next move looks like this. It's a shovel with a burpee and a push up at the end. All right, so I'm gonna put my mat over here. I won't be going anything crazy. It's gonna look like this. I'm actually gonna get out of the way. I'm gonna shuffle down with a push up. Come back up, shuffle over, down. Here we go. Go for it. Shuffle, down. Burpee, push up, bring it up. Shuffle, down. Burpee, push up. I forgot the push up. Do the push up. Up, shuffle over, down. Push up. Keep it up. Keep your core nice and tight. Keep your shoulder down away from your ears. If you don't, if you can't go down all the way, that's okay. Just get down as far as you can. You got 24 seconds to go. And you're gonna stay low when you're shuffling. You come up nice and high. 15 seconds, y'all. 15 seconds. Come on, 10 seconds. Get it done, get it done. Get it done, get it done. Three seconds, come on. Woo! All right, good job. All right, so that was a minute. Make sure you get some water. Now we're all feeling out ready to take a break. Next one, we're gonna slow it down. Slow the heart rate down. We're gonna make sure that we intensify the muscles, for sure. I'm breathing heavy. You should be breathing heavy. Yeah, five seconds left. I showed up for you, now you show up for you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a deadlift. If you have weights, it's even better. Single leg deadlift. And we're gonna keep the arms close to the leg. Roll back, squeeze the lower back. And bring it up without tapping. Here we go. Get to it. Roll back. And you don't have to wait for me. You can go faster than me. This is actually moving on just kind of slow. We're working on balance. We're working on the strength of the hamstring. So right underneath the booty is where you should be pulling up at. You can have a tiny slight bend in that right leg. That's on the ground. But you also want to make sure that 
you're pulling on that hamstring. You're not pulling on that hamstring. Ooh. You're not going to get the work that you want. You're not going to get the results. And don't forget about that back. When we're squeezing, if you got weight, make sure you're coming back down before you bring that leg up. Balance. All right, switch to the other side. We got 30 seconds each side. So I'm going to drop down. I'm going to pull. Woo! You need to catch yourself. That's all right. Pull. Lift. Probably working out inside a little bit easier for the simple fact that you don't have an even ground. Now take a look at my neck. You see that your neck is in line with your spine. So when I go down, I'm not looking forward. I'm looking straight down to the ground. Oh, and squeezing my shoulder blades. This is one of those moves that you want to slow it. You actually want to slow it down. Make sure you get that form right. All right, take a break. Break to get a little shorter. I only got 20 seconds this time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get down the ground. We're going to just flutter. Flutter up and down to the crunch. You got 10 seconds left. You All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to flutter our feet up and flutter them down and flutter them up and flutter them down you make your legs go as much as possible you go up as high and as low as possible without touching the ground all right here we go and up and if you want to make it more intense you can hold the weight here and lift your shoulders off the ground just make sure that your shoulders are down and back You want to sing a nice little song? Feel free. My lower back is touching the ground. I have no strain in my neck, even though my shoulders are up. It's got 20 more seconds, guys. You got a full minute. You can notice I kind of slow down my own pace just so I can keep my form right. Your form is the most important, especially if you're only going to show for 10 minutes. One more time. Come on. Good rest. Awesome job. All right, so we got one, last one. This one's only going to be 30 seconds. And then we're going to end it in seven minutes, but this one is intense. Give me all you got. We're going to do quick feet, and we're going to do a tuck jump and get right back to quick feet. No breaks in between. Don't stop. Don't slow down. Go to the modifier if you need to modify it, but do not stop. In three, two, one. Here we go. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. You go when I say go. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Come on, come on, quick feet. Quick feet, quick feet, up. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Quick feet. Up, up, up. Quick feet, quick feet. You got three more, go, do it in a row. Three, two, one, you're done. Great job, everybody. Woo. All right. So just give me a little inhale. You gotta make sure you cool down after something like that. I'm dripping. I'm outside, but it's pretty cool though. So to your legs apart. Take deep breath in. And just breathe it out. Do that again. And breathe it out. So you're gonna breathe it in again. And you're gonna fall forward. Stretching out those hamstrings. Loving every minute of it. Now here, I want you to see the difference. When I come down, my back's still nice and straight. It allows me to get a little bit deeper of a hamstring stretch, rather than if I just let my back go. It's more going to stretch your back than your hamstrings. We're going to push that booty out, make that back nice and straight. And now I want you to allow the back to come down. Roll up, take a nice big deep inhale, and you're done. Keep being awesome today, guys. 